All right, guys. I'm going to present to you my Man United and Arsenal decode. I'm also going to present to you my NBA decode. San Antonio Spurs against the Portland Trailblazers. Make of it as you wish. So I had United to beat Arsenal. They did. They won the game 3-2. Of course, Ronaldo was the hero, as he usually is. I said, the way the EPL works, that's the English Premier League, I will be shocked if United lose this and stay on 18 points after 14 games. So no gematria there, just common sense. This is a huge club, and I didn't believe that they were going to lose this game today. I said United are plus 100, and I like them. I also said there's some incredibly talented football soccer decoders in this community, so feel free to add. But this was my code, and a few people added, and they also believed United would win, which is good, all on the same page. So the game was on 12-2, December the 2nd, 1-2-2. Just a really, really significant number. Pope Francis gets you 1-2-2. Two, two. And obviously, he's involved in so many of these rituals, which I've proven at this point. So he became the Pope on the 72nd day of 2013. Today was Mikel Arteta's 72nd game coaching the Premier League. Arteta's the head coach of Arsenal. So Arsenal, they stayed on seven wins and two draws. Like 72. And the last time they played, guys, was 1-30-2021. It was a 0-0 draw. 1 plus 30 plus 20 plus 21 gets you 72. For another 1-2-2, two, two, Satanic gets you 1-2-2, two, two, guys. And obviously, Man United's nickname is the Red Devils. If we look at the date numerology of this game, 12-2, 2021, 55, 10, and 35 date numerology. When you type in Satan, 55, 10, 35. 55, 10, 35. And like I said, Man United are called the Red Devils. Red Devils, United's nickname, gets you 55. 55 date numerology, pure. Just know that 55 is the 10th Fibonacci and triangular number. And 10 was a huge number in my decode, which I'll get to in a moment. So guys, this was the 55th head-to-head -head game since it was rebranded and became the Premier League. And I told you 55 is the 10th triangular and Fibonacci number. Well, Man United, they improved to 10 points at home with a win. And Arsenal got their 100th loss to United. And I also saw that Bruno Fernandes scored today in what was his 100th appearance for United. 100, guys, the square root is 10, because 10 times 10 gets you 100. And United came into this game today 10th in the league and if you've been watching my videos, I've been talking about 55 and 10 for over a year. So United advanced to three wins, one draw and three losses at home with the win. 3-1-3. Three, three. Francis became the Pope on 3-1-3, three, three, March the 13th. Today's game was played on 12-2, 1-2-2. Kobe Bryant's highest scoring game came in his 666th game, which was on 1-2-2, January the 22nd. Here is Kobe's recent birthday, August the 23rd, 2021. 
from his recent birthday to this game. Three months, one week, three days. United's home record now. Three wins, one draw, three losses. It's absolutely insane. And if you look here, Kobe Bryant was born on a day leaving 130 days left in the year. Prior to this game, the last time United played Arsenal was on 1.30, January the 30th. Look at the 1.30 here. Look how Kobe's recent birthday, 72 day numerology. Also 52. Didn't Ronaldo score after 52 minutes? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. In regards to the 52, Pope gets you 52. And Ronaldo was born on 5-2, the 5th of February. That date can also be written 2-5, February the 5th. Insane. Insane. And if you want another 130, then look at this. I'll give you another 130. If they discuss Ronaldo somewhere here. There it is. Cristiano Ronaldo scored the 800 and 801st goals of his professional career. Isn't it funny that Kobe's highest scoring game was 81 points in his 666 game and he got it on 1-2-2 and this game today was on 12-2, like 1-2-2. Well, look at this. Ronaldo got his 130th goal for Man United. 1-30. Hey? Eh? Last time they played, 1-30. January the 30th. So Man United stayed on three draws and three losses in the Premier League this season. And they did that on 35 date numerology. It's confirmation here of the 35 date numerology. Just understand the word Catholic gets you 35. And the game was played on Thursday. One of only two games played on Thursday this week in the Premier League. Thursday gets you 35. It also gets you 100. Like how Bruno Fernandes made his 100th appearance for Man United today. How Arsenal got their 100th loss against United. It's just so rigged. And again, I don't watch these games anymore. I'm not even sure I want to keep gambling on them. I just want to keep exposing them. Because if I do expose it all, my word, what a legacy I can leave behind. That's more important than money. I'm okay for money. I'm not mega rich or anything, but I'm more than comfortable. I don't need to be betting every night. Today, I had Man United to win. Today, I had San Antonio Spurs at plus 170 to win. And I didn't even place a bet, and it feels great, even though I didn't win any money. It feels great. My community won. I didn't waste my energy on this. During the United game, I was doing a live stream. So, yeah, I think... My role in this matrix is to help people. I don't need to win a ton of money like I was. Didn't even make me feel that happy winning the money. Felt happier exposing it. So I found this really interesting. The game was two months and three days before Ronaldo's upcoming birthday. And Arsenal stayed on 23 points in the league. Man United got to 21 points. It was number seven Ronaldo, who gave them a 2-1 lead in the game. I've discussed Kobe. Look at that. They scored 24 goals, conceded 24. Kobe's number. It's pretty sickening, guys, but it is what it is. And they're going to keep it tight. They have to keep it tight for that Champions League spot. They have to keep it tight, don't they? So teams like Brighton, Leicester... Well, Leicester are better than Brighton. Wolves, they're going to hover around here. And in the last four games of the season, they're going to drop points. Teams like United and Spurs are going to go on a big run. And what you'll end up having probably is Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool, Man United in the top four. West Ham just miss out on the last game of the season. It's just so predictable. What's interesting with Newcastle, I did some research, no team has ever survived after not winning 
one game in their first 14 Premier League games. Every team's been relegated. But we'll see what happens there. Let's see if Newcastle pull off a miracle. Depends what the script is, doesn't it? These 34s were really big. So the new United coach, he couldn't coach today because his permit didn't arrive in time. So Carrick led United. The reason Carrick led them today is because the game was exactly 34 weeks before his upcoming birthday. Exactly 34 weeks. Arteta, he stayed on 34 Premier League wins. When you type in Arsenal FC, you get 34. And I've talked about this number so much this year. Italy won the Euros, didn't they? 34 games undefeated. 34-year-old Leo Messi won the Copa America, his first trophy with Argentina. The Copa America final was his 34th appearance in the competition. The Milwaukee Bucks won the NBA, the MVP in the finals, number 34, Giannis. It's just a joke, guys. So when I saw all these 34s here, I was so confident that United were winning. I said, here, bad news for United is that slabhead donkey, Harry Maguire returns. Awful footballer. But um, they still won the game, didn't they? They won the game 3-2. Just here, look at the 72 here. I discussed the 72 heavily. Look at the 2-5 here. Ronaldo born on 2-5. Pope equals 25. It's just a joke. I actually think I read a stat about 25. I read a stat about 25. It's like the most losses. Look here. Carrick continued. It's 100% my decision. Let's throw another 100 there. So Carrick, what did he coach? Three games. Was it three games he coached? He just comes in and does an amazing job. Carrick, the legend. It's just so rigged. And now he's stepped down. Look at this. This is funny. Bruno Fernandes. Look, he's a 100th competitive appearance for Man United. Look how many assists he has. 34 assists. Here's another 25. Look, there it is. Arsenal have lost more Premier League matches versus Manchester United, 25. Oh, man. When I get this right, I just... I'm, guys, I'm nailing. Look, I have to get a photo here of Sancho, Mr. 25. The 2-5... Look at the 2 five, seven. They do this photo a lot. The 2 five, seven with Sancho and Ronaldo. It's because 257 is the 55th prime. Red Devils 55, Saden 55. It just all connects, guys. And look, they won 3-2. Most of my riddle was about the Society of Jesus. And their logo is that of a sun with 32 rays. Game finishes 3-2. What an absolute joke, guys. It's pretty funny, though, isn't it? It's pretty funny how rigged it all is. And now I'm not going to gamble as much. I'm just going to keep winning for people because my energy is going to be on the coding and I'm one of the best in the world at coding. Look at this. Add up Ronaldo's two goals. 52 plus 70. What does it get you? 122. The game was on 12-2. 122. Add up his goals. It's 122. It's 122. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. This guy's goal, what a joke. His teammate stands on him, and then they go to VAR for about three minutes to make a decision. It was simple. Because I watched the highlights. Fred, 
horrible footballer. I'd rather have Fred Elliott in my team. Fred stamped on De Gea, his own teammate. De Gea went down like a little bitch because that's what he is. This guy, Smith Rowe, scored after 13 minutes. Just put it in the goal with his left foot. The referee didn't blow his whistle, so within 10 seconds, if it goes to VAR, you say straight away, it's a goal. But no, they had to drain people's energy. That's what VAR is, to take your energy. Look at this. See how the game was at 8.15? The game was at 8.15. Not 8 o'clock or 7.45, it was 8.15. The Society of Jesus was founded August the 15th, 8.15. That's why the game was at 8.15. Simple as that. Simple as that. And uh, what else we got? Where's my NBA decode? I've posted so much. You know what, actually? Screw the NBA decode. I'm not going to go through it. I had San Antonio Spurs to win, plus 170 against the Blazers. They killed them, guys, because it's just rigged. 114.83. And Blazers were at home, okay? I'll make this short. The Blazers were at home. One of the best home records in the league. They came into it 10-1. and one. So they'd won. 10 out of 11 games at home. But they lost today and got destroyed. They got their 12th loss. Their home record's now 10 and 2, like 12. Then if we go, look at the Spurs. Look at Spurs' away record now. 3 and 7 away. You can type in Portland here. You get 37. 37, guys, the 12th prime. You got the Blazers getting their 12th loss, 10 and 2 at home now, like 12. There were so many things that I did here. It was crazy. I'm not going to go through it. And again, guys, just check out my Patreon. It's $10 for the month. You're going to learn so much. It's not just about winning money, but you're going to learn so much. But I did a crazy code for the Spurs to win. And they did. They did. But I don't want to talk about it too much. I know people care more about football. All right, guys, let's take a look at this. Luis Enrique, this is from a while back. If they can score four goals against us, we can score six. Anybody who's a football fan will always remember the game between Barcelona and PSG, where Barcelona beat them 6 1. Not a lot of people know this that I'm about to present. But this, for me, proves that the coaches know that the game's rigged. Luis Enrique, the guy who played for Barcelona then went on to coach Barcelona, just like Guardiola did, just like Cruyff did, just like Ronald Koeman did. Look at the chin on this guy. No, that is a chin. Anyways, look at this. So remember this game, 6-1. It's on the 8th of March, 2017. It was the last 16. Outgoing Barcelona boss Luis Enrique claimed his side have the firepower to stick six goals past Paris Saint-Germain as they attempt to make Champions League history by overturning a 4-0 first leg deficit on Wednesday. So again, PSG up 4-0. And they get knocked out because they lose 6-1 in the second leg. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. So look at this. If they can score four goals against us, we can score six, said Enrique on Tuesday. Why not five? He had to say six. We have nothing to lose and a lot to win. The fierce criticism that came Enrique's way after their humiliation in Paris three weeks ago, has eased after he announced last week that he will step down after three seasons as coach at the end of the campaign. They love that number three. Rather than show any ill effects from Enrique's decision, optimism in the Catalan capital of a stunning fight back has soared 
after thrashing Sporting Gijon and Celta Vigo 6-1 and 5-0 respectively in their last two outings. No offence to Sporting Gijon or Celta Vigo. That's not PSG, is it, in the Champions League? Despite the fact that the result from the first leg is very one-sided, we are only halfway through the tie. Added an uncharacteristically buoyant Enrique. He was buoyant because he knew that he was winning that game. In 95 minutes, an infinite amount of things can happen. Why did he say 95? Didn't they get the winning goal in the 95th minute? Why, why was it 95? Most coaches would say in 90 minutes. Why did he say in 95? I am convinced that at some point we will be close to qualifying. Of course you're convinced, mate, because you knew the script. That isn't to say we will do it, but that we will be close. And when you are close, our confidence will soar and theirs could start to diminish. Oh, it's like you almost read the future, Enrique. No team in the history of the Champions League has ever turned around a four-goal deficit. Nothing impossible. It's just a joke. What did Suarez say? This prick. Luis Suarez was also bullish as he claimed if there is one team capable of mounting a historic comeback, it is Barcelona. We are aware that it is a difficult situation to turn the tie around, but in football, nothing is impossible, said Suarez. It's not impossible when it's all rigged, is it, Luis? We have to be convinced that we can do it. If there is a team that can score four goals, I think it is Barcelona, but with our philosophy of how to play and controlling the game. So it's just a joke. It's a joke. This game that ended 6 1 to Barcelona should have had a lot of people asking questions. I did. This was before I had my awakening. I was like, this doesn't make sense. I remember I wasn't even excited. I was like, this is, this seems a little bit corrupt, this. There's no way that PSG should have gone out at that level of play. This is not some little football rapido, some seven aside with your mates. This is elite competition. There's no way PSG should have been getting beat 6-1. And there was no way Barcelona should be getting beat 4-0. But yes, yeah, 6-1. And over the two legs, it finishes 6-5. A score that can be seen as 5-6. Paris, France equals 56. Home of the Jesuits. Barcelona, a massive Catholic club, which is undeniable. So anyway, guys. This isn't all about money for me now. I'm going to just keep revealing the deception. I'm not going to give my energy to winning all this money. And I'm going to do way better for my community and for helping people wake up. People in my live stream today, they said I can't watch games anymore. Since I watched your channel, I can't watch these games. I don't give my energy to them anymore. God bless you. But look, still love the game. Still love the game. I stopped playing when I learned about how rigged it is. So here, i got the goalie Adore, the top goal scorer in the league. i got 24 goals in 11 games. My team won the final yesterday. So I'll leave you with this, guys. Love of the game. When I truly accepted that professional football was rigged, it crushed me, and I even stopped playing it for a while. However, I decided me sacrificing something I love and I'm gifted at made absolutely no sense. I decided to return to play and my team won the championship last night and I was the top scorer in the league. This journey at times can be rough, guys, but don't let it take away all your joy. There's so much beauty in this world and sometimes we can forget that. So I want to leave you with that. There's so much beauty in this world. If it hurts you, that sports are rigged. It's just the professional side, guys. Playing with your friends, with your local team, that's organic, that's real. And don't forget that. Don't forget that. So thank you for supporting my work. I know this is a pretty long video, but a lot of information I wanted to get out there. Much love. 
I appreciate you and take care.